Welcome to Stock Talk with Nico Criticos. Today, we're going to be taking a look at US Bank, ticker USB. This is a stock that I've owned now for about a week, ever since the stock had its big crash. Over the last five years, the stock is now down 30%. In the last year, it is down 37%. And in the last month, the stock is down 27%. So this stock was normally trading right around the $45 to $50 range. And now the stock is $35 a share. The market cap on this company is $53 billion. And as you can see, I bought in 57 shares at $36 a share. So it's slightly below where I bought in, but I'm not too worried. If it continues to drop more, then I'll buy more shares. So first thing we're going to look at here on my checklist is going to be the revenue and net income. What we're going to see here is they've done a pretty good job with growing revenue. On average, it grows a couple percent per year. Let's change this to annually. And if, if we look for net income, though, it's not as healthy. I like to look at the last five to 10 years more so than previous years because it's, I feel like it's more relevant data. And what you're going to see is really since 2013, the last 10 years, they're doing the same numbers they've been doing, you know, five, this $5.8 billion point seems to be wh where they've been for the last decade. There's been a couple of times when they've, it's gone up to 8 billion. And then there was in 2020, it went to under 5 billion. But I, that, I, I don't really count that as growth. So that one's going to get a no. But revenue, they're growing at about 2% per year. So that's good enough. Um, so number one, we'll get a check. Number two is not. As for the price to earnings ratio, we're looking at a nine times trailing 12 months price to earnings. Here is the historical chart for the, these numbers. And what you're going to see is I would probably call the average about a 10, maybe an 11, a 10 or 11. And right now we're at a nine. So, and that's on a trailing 12 months basis. So on a forward basis, we're probably sitting at more like an eight or something. Let's see what Qualtrum says. Qualtrum says, yeah, about an 8.5. So I would def definitely consider that healthy. It's definitely not overvalued and it's sitting below its normal price to earnings ratio. So we're going to give that a check as well. Now for number four, are they innovative? Do they have a moat? I would say yes. Their market cap is $53 billion. They are a pretty big company. This is a big enough company and a, 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 this type of banking stock is something that I don't think it's easily to go under. And I think it's, it's not like anybody can start up a bank and automatically take all their business. Now, with these other smaller banks that we've seen having trouble either going bankrupt or almost bankrupt, that is, of course, a concern. You know, other banks are susceptible. But what we just saw was Janet Yellen. She, I watched an interview where she said she they're primarily concerned with bigger banks going under. They will backstop bigger banks. I would put this in that category. I mean, if, of course, banks like JP Morgan and Bank of America are going to fit that, but I would put US Bank into that category as well. We're not talking about a $2 billion or a $5 billion bank. This is a $53 billion bank. So that's why I think that this would be one of those banks where they would backstop it. So I'm not super worried about that. I also think that what's happening is when these, when these smaller banks go under all of those depositors are taking their money elsewhere. And a company like this is one that is getting those new depositors. Now I bought US Bank and I bought Bank of America. So, you know, I'm kind of in on both of those companies, but I think both of them are gonna get, you know, depositors from this. So I would say, yes. As for a growing industry, yes, banking industry is always growing. I think it's like 2% per year. If we're looking at return on invested capital, I believe this does not have it. So we are going to have to go over here and we are going to have to check out other ratios without some ads. And what we're going to see here is that their return on invested capital has been, I believe, right around 7%. So, yeah, so we're looking at 6 to 9%, somewhere around there. So they've done enough years where they've hit 7%. I would not call this a strong... ROI, I definitely wouldn't say that, but it's good enough. It's good enough for the chart. It's not like it's 2%. Growing equity, yes. The other interesting about their the other interesting thing about their equity right here is it's nearly their market cap. We're pretty much getting the the company for its book value. Let's see. Yeah, it's at $51 billion of equity. Now, what we're going to see, this was another hard decision for me because 
over the last three years, we've seen it go, go, go from 52, 53, 55, 51. So there's been a decrease in its equity, right? But there's been more years when they've increased equity. That's why I gave it a check. But I can kind of see that going either way. For this one, it's going to get a check because it's pretty much, remember that we're paying $53 billion for the company and we're getting $51 billion of equity. So that sounds like a pretty good deal. Share count decrease. Here we're looking at a nice steady decrease from 2011 to, so it looks like the last three years, there hasn't really been much of a decrease, but in the years prior there was. The important thing is they're not increasing. So that gets a check. Our assets double the liabilities? No, unfortunately it is not even close. 674. Well, actually we can look at it like this. I guess if you took out, like if you took out their loans and stuff, maybe then it would be a better ratio, but it's still not, I, I still don't see it being double. So that will get a no. Profit margin over 10%. And we are going to find out right here that it is 24%, 30%, anywhere in that range. Definitely strong numbers there. Is the cash more than average annual income? Yes, it is. Cash is sitting at, what? Did, I think we saw what? $53 billion, right? $53 billion. They're normally doing five to six billion in net income. That'll get a check. Healthy dividend. Yes, we're looking at a 5.5% dividend. Very intriguing. And a payout ratio of 50%. Very healthy. Then is it over 20 years old? Yes, it was founded in 1929. So all in all, we're looking at a score of 12 out of 14, which is a higher score than most stocks that I analyze. So I'm considering this a buy, and that is why I am invested into U.S. Bank. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I will see you in the next video.